The guy you see next to me is the world's youngest billionaire and he's not even 30. Hi, I'm Ritesh Agarwal. I'm 26 years old. And this guy doesn't come from New York, doesn't come from California, doesn't come from Sweden. He comes from here, Rayagada, India. A city where most people make no more than $10 a day. For the first time ever, I want to share with you the incredible success story of the world's youngest billionaire. Ritesh grew up poor and for 18 years he struggled. He didn't go to university and he had no career. At that point of time, I felt this was the toughest period I was ever going to endure in my life. At some point, he was kicked out of his apartment with 50 cents in his bank account. So, so how the hell do you become a billionaire? Money is not what I ever cared about. It is always about solving real problems for me. And so he did. He noticed that a nearby hotel was empty a lot of the time and the owner wasn't making much money. So he went to the owner and took the biggest risk of his life. He promised to make his hotel better. He changed the light bulbs. He changed the beds. He added water. He put picture frames. He put room service. And he took nice pictures of the hotel and put them on the internet and changed the name and called it Oyo Hotel. All of a sudden, the hotel went from empty to full, and it worked. First hotel is always the hardest. When I was able to change one hotel, I was pretty sure I could change hundreds. At age 20, he raised money from investors. At age 21, he hired 50 people. At age 22, he had 500 hotels. At age 24, he raised $1 billion. And at age 26, right now, he has 46,000 hotels and built the second largest hotel chain in the world. And he's not even 30 years old. Many people told me, multiple times, go to university, seek help from parents to make sure that you can do that. This is just not going to work. That's crazy. <laughs> Think about this for a second. A random kid in a poor city in India with 50 cents in his bank account became the world's youngest billionaire in five years and helped 350,000 people get jobs. This isn't just luck, this is the definition of hard work. He worked at night, he worked on weekends, he knocked on doors, he guessed people's emails, he begged to get meetings, and he succeeded even when all the odds were stacked against people that looked like him. But I do believe in luck. I, I believe if you work hard, you're probability of being lucky increases dramatically. When you don't let your nationality, ethnicity, age, university background, family status, or gender come in the way, you will achieve greatness.